court is adjourned. Set for my meeting with Justice Roberts. Uh, the cake is in the fridge. The Speaker of the House thanks you for the pussy hat that you mailed him, but disagrees he was able to identify it. Uh, protests have erupted around the country holding fake funerals for you in the name of women's rights. Hashtag best funeral ever is trending. <laughs> you may just be a politician one of these days. forgot your pants again. And you forgot to return my calls. I've been very busy. Ruth, you're the only woman that has ever refused me. Oh, you're so delicate, like bringing up systemic racism at a Southern Baptist convention. I'm flattered, mm, but, uh... Chair. Oh, but, uh, but, but I know a yes when I hear one. And you can't prove I said that. <laughs> uh, if Hillary sees you here, she'll break my neck with her bare hands. Well, you know, just because she knows how to break a neck doesn't mean she will. I heard there was a cake with my name on it. <sighs> you think about what I said. Hey, Johnny boy. Mm. Like a little special White House edition of To Catch a Predator. <laughs> I could feel his erection. Happy, <sighs> happy birthday. It's not my birthday. You said it was your birthday. Can I tell you a secret? It's not. <laughs> Have you read my opinion? You are announcing this decision in a few days. It is going to affect so many lives. Read it by tomorrow night. Going out with the coven this evening? Hello, Stephen. Uh, yes, the girls and I are meeting up for a drink. That's pretty crazy for a Tuesday night. I can be crazy too. I'm Stephen Breyer, Associate Justice of the Supreme Court. I'm so crazy, the media doesn't have the guts to cover me. Your breath smells like gin. Uh, I'm king of the world. So we're just playing this innocent game of Joke the Chicken. You know, we used to play it in, in session. Yeah. And all of a sudden I find myself in the, in the Hindu Kush mountains making love to an Afghani freedom fighter. Oh, what wow. a retirement wow. so far. Yes. My craziest weekend in recent memory was I was working late one night. The janitor thought I was the librarian. <laughs> I spent last Saturday uh, with 20 other women back to back for my women's softball league doubleheader. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, who's ready for another round? Oh yeah, yeah let's yeah. do it. Great. Yeah, sure. And a big old bag of blood for Justice Ginsburg. Whose blood is this? We gotta keep you healthy until 2020, so. Where did you get this? Gotta go. You know, I drank a stranger's blood once during a tantric sex ritual. Oh. They say a bag of blood a day keeps the lung infection at bay. I study linguistics and I'm certain that's not an expression. Oh, gals, uh, don't look now, hide, hide. Where is it that I meant not to look? All I see is former chief White House strategist and current Holocaust denier, oh. Steve Bannon. Ruth, you look as tender as ever. <coughs> What do you want, Bannon? You know what I want. All I've ever wanted to naked oil wrestle with you. I'm trying to keep my drink down. <laughs> Just a little slip and slide uh, with old Bannon boy. Can't you tell I'm not into you? 
Fake news. I know fake news when I hear it. Fake news. All right. You want to hang with the gals? Grab a glass and uh, we'll drink up. Ooh. Oh, but, but the question is, whose blood is this? Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Load me up one. I all right, all right. Like okay. Don't drink no, that. Put it down, blood. I'm not ever going to meet anybody with half a brain in this town.